What's up people? In this video, we are going to look at how do we build carousel for our React application. Let's have a quick demonstration that what we are going to build. So this is a carousel that have around three slides in it. You can see that there are, are controllers inside the carousel. There are indicators, the title and the subtitles. Apart from that, this carousel is responsive too. So you can see that uh, as I am adjusting the size of the window, the Carousel is adjusting itself for a better user experience. So let's get started. Let's open up your favorite IDE in my case Visual Studio Code. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a new React app to integrate the carousel. And let's just give it a name of React Carousel. Hit enter. This command will take some time to initialize the project. As you can see that our project has been initialized so let's just clear this out and we have a node modules here the public directory and the source directory as well so let's let me go to the project directory that is the react cursor and clear this out yeah now let me just start the project to check that everything is working fine or not then we will move towards the second step yeah so you can see that we have a default react page here but we are not going to use that we are going to integrate the carousel so let me stop the project and let me do a little bit clean up uh, yeah we don't need this default page so we are going to clear this out and clean the code a little bit let's save it now the page now let's just start the project to see that everything is blank uh, clear this one yeah it's blank now we are going to move towards the second step that is uh, to integrate the carousel so for this video i'm going to use bootstrap because the bootstrap provides the responsiveness as well so let's go to this website that is the react bootstrap github.io uh, and then look out the ways that is how we can integrate the bootstrap into this application so we have to copy this command and paste it here um, it will take a couple of seconds okay let's clear this out uh, one thing more that we need to do is that we need to add the dependency of this bootstrap in order to make it work yeah so we will go into the index.js and just paste it there just give it a line break so it will look pretty good yeah so now we have integrated bootstrap in our react application now we are going to use one of the component of bootstrap that is carousel uh let's go to the component section and let's find out the carousel so here you can see a couple of carousel sliders but uh, for the purpose of this video we are going to pick this piece of code here yeah but before that uh, we are going to make a separate component for that so let me just create a component directory and then create a component with the name of uh, carousel container yeah that sounds cool okay let me just import react from react and then the carousel from the react bootstrap because this is a component of the bootstrap so let's just carousel we want carousel yeah so now we are going to create a function component uh, because it sounds perfect for this functionality constant uh, carousel can container return yeah and then we are going to copy the course code from here uh, and paste it here now let's just save it so it will get intended uh, we have to export this component so let's just export it export default carousel container yeah we are good here now one thing more that we need to make sure that uh, 
we are changing this references here and we are importing the images so let me grab some images for instead of these placeholders which are not actually exist in our react directory okay so i have these three images that i am going to use for this project so let me create another directory in order to make code structure and the directory may called assets and then create another directory here for images yeah and just grab those images and paste it here you can find these images in the description yeah yeah so we have these three images here now we have to replace this piece of code from the images that we just copy and pasted actually let's leave this title and subtitle as it is because if you want to uh, do some adjustment you can do that but i'm not going to do the last thing that we have to do we have created this carousel container now we have to do tell the app component that this is a carousel com container that you need to render so what we are going to do we are going to simply add this carousel container in here and the app component will start rendering this carousel container so you can see that we have this import statement here now let's just save it and start the project and see how it looks like Ta -da! we have a beautiful carousel over here okay so now we are going to look some of the properties of this carousel uh, and do some customization over there the very first property that we are going to look into the website if you scroll to the page you can find this grid over here so the very first property that we are going to look is that interval in our code if you can see um, you can see that the items has an interval which is inconsistent for the first slide it is around one second per second slide it's around 0.5 second and for the third slide the interval is not defined so we are going to make it consistent for around two seconds so now you can see that the slide will gone through for each and every two seconds so let's have a look some other properties let's have a look for this control so these controls are these left and right icons that you can see in the carousel if you don't want to show it to the user you can simply um, add the property of controls equals to false and the icons will disappear as you can see now let's have a look to the fade property it's one of the coolest property in this carousel um, let's just change the animation of this slider uh, let me just add it uh, fade equals to true so now you can see that these sliders have a change of animation instead of sliding through different images now have a fading effect now let's just look into the last property that so-called pause which is hover by default it means that when you hover over the slides the slider will stop so if you put your mouse out of the carousel the flight the slider will get started so uh, let's override this property to false that is pause equals to false we don't want our carousel to get stopped so let's just hit save and now you can see that no matter we have mouse in the carousel or not the sliding is still going on so just look up the last property that we have uh, which is the responsiveness so you can see that it still have a pretty good responsive effect uh, for the carousel so that's all for today if you like the video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe